name is Victor. Today we'll be talking about Gaff's law. So the first law we are going to talk about is Boyce law. What is Boyce law? And what does it mean? Before we go to the calculation aspect. So we all know that Boyce law talks about the variation between the volume and pressure of a gas. The variation between the volume and pressure of a gas as long as the temperature of the gas is constant. So Boyce's law states that the volume of a given mass of gas is inversely proportional to the pressure of the gas, provided that the temperature remains constant, as long as the temperature remains constant. What does that mean? It means anytime the volume of a gas is increased, the pressure will be decreased. And then if the volume is increased, the pressure will, work, will be increased. So if I introduce a constant into this above equation, I will have the equal to k over p. And if I cross multiply, I'll see my constant is equal to p b. Now in the situation where we have two scenarios, we have two cases, so I can now say my p1 b1 equal to p2 b2. Where my p1 is the first pressure, b is the first volume, and p2 is the second pressure, and b2 is the second volume. And then there are some units that we need to make sure that we are aware of the volume as a unit of centimeter cube. We can also have dm cube, but mostly it is centimeter cube to use on that voice flow. While the pressure has like a three to four units, we have, can have ATM, which is atmospheric pressure. We can have MMHG, which is millimeter mercury. We can have a Newton per meter square. Newton per meter square. We can also have a um, bar. We can have what? But so we see this a unit of the pressure of a gas. Look at the first example. A given mass of a gas occupies a volume of 300 cm cube at 900 mm mercury. So the first volume that we have here is 300 cm cube and at a pressure of this our second first pressure is 900 mm mercury. Calculate the volume, find the set volume, calculate the volume by the same gas when the pressure has been reduced, when the pressure of the gas has been reduced to 750 millimeter mercury. 750 millimeter mercury. So don't forget that we'll say for Boyce's law, P1, V1 equal to P2, V2. So the first pressure is 900. Multiply by the first volume is 300 equal to V2. Multiply by the second pressure is 750. So I can divide both sides by 750. So my V2 is equal to 900 multiplied by 300 divided by 750. And then if I divide it, I'm, I'm going to have 360 centimeter cube. 360 centimeter cube.